Hi, this is Sarah Mikesell with The Pig Site, and today we're here with Brian Humphreys. He is the CEO of the National Pork Producers Council. Welcome. Thanks for being with us today, Brian. Absolutely, Sarah. Thank you for the opportunity. Really appreciate it. Very good. And this is a new role for you. You said just uh, six months or just, so you've been in. Just over six months, and uh, we're building on the momentum that Neil and my predecessors have put in place as we as we move forward here. Absolutely. Yep. Fantastic. And you rolled out a new logo uh, shown all over the wall right here behind us. Tell us a little bit about that. Absolutely. Over the last couple of years, MPPC has uh, and the industry have been evaluating where do we need to go as an organization. Mm -hmm. And as we started to adapt to new funding and new strategic plans and new leadership on the board, uh, it became time to really evaluate who we are as an organization and how do we showcase that to the country and to the producers we work for and then to the rest of the world. And so what we have here is the new logo. Uh, and it is uh, it, it encapsulates a lot and says a lot. The, the speech bubble of the red, white, and blue showcases that we are the global voice for the U.S. pork industry. And then the, the pork producers being encapsulated is in the middle of the, the national and council demonstrates clearly that who we represent and who we work for as an organization. Uh, so the logo says a lot, uh, but it's really to showcase who we are and where we're going as an organization and an industry into the future. Very good. And you talked about um, MPPC being the voice for the U.S., the global voice, really, for the U.S. producer. Tell me a little bit about what is the message to uh, to the to the rest of the world. Uh, our audience, as you know, is a, is a much more global audience. So so what would be the MPPC's message to producers um, and to the industry around the world? Absolutely. And so the U.S. pork industry exports uh, 25 to 30 percent of our product annually. Uh, and we have partners all over the world. And as we look to continue to be competitive and, and work with our partners and pork producers around the world, uh, that there's room for all of us out there. And yet the U.S. pork industry needs to have a voice in the global market as so much of our product is exported. Uh, but we continue to look forward to working with all of our partners, both domestically and internationally, uh, as, we, as we look to grow demand for U.S. product. Very good, and there's a lot of people out there to feed, so... Yes, there is. Right? Yes, there is. It's going to take everybody, it seems. Absolutely, and I think this uh, th there's there's opportunity for everyone in a competitive market, and as long as we're willing uh, to, to, to work towards uh, lowering barriers, uh, tariffs and barriers uh, to, to on trade, I think there's opportunity for all pork producers worldwide to be successful. Very good. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Appreciate you being here. Very good. This is Sarah Mikesell with The Pig Site.